Hi, I'm Sal, and I run a product review channel on social media under Simply Sal Finds, where I share my favorite Amazon products in the home, tech, and lifestyle categories. I've been part of the Amazon Influencer Program for over two years, and I'm really excited to share best practices on some of the tools available in Associate Central, so you can use those insights and grow your earnings with the program. In today's session, I'll be helping you understand tracking IDs, how to create them, plus a few ways to filter, and how to use the grouping functionality. What are tracking IDs? In Associate Central, you'll be able to create specific IDs under your main Associates ID to track things like referrals, conversions, and earnings coming from sources like your website, newsletter, as well as your social media campaigns. A great place to use tracking IDs is when you add a link to your Instagram stories to see how performance is versus your other sources. To create a tracking ID, make sure you're logged into Associate Central and then hover over your email account in the top right and select Manage Tracking IDs from the dropdown. Once you're on the screen, you have the option to add a new tracking ID or see a collection of your already created tracking IDs. To create one, tap the yellow button and then enter a unique but identifiable ID that you'll associate to a referral source like your website, newsletter, Instagram, or another source. A couple of things to keep in mind, tracking IDs can't be renamed or deleted once created and make sure to select the correct tracking ID when using SiteStripe to create your affiliate text links. When you're in the earnings report, you have the option to filter down to a date range to check orders and earnings. One of the helpful ones for me is the this month preset to see how performance is so far, and I also use this data to forecast where I might land by the end of the month. You can filter and see a view of ordered items that includes conversion percentage and amount ordered versus earnings based on orders that have actually shipped, and also from what sources your orders came from in the link type performance tab. And lastly, let's look at the group by functionality feature that's available under the ordered items and earnings tabs only. Scroll to the right where it says group by and select the grouping by value from the drop down. You have options for a category of products, by tracking IDs that you've created, by date, and if you select none, you'll see a table view of products ordered and earnings, which can also be very helpful to identify your top sellers. I was super excited when this feature was enabled because it saved me so much time when I want to look at a glance what performance looks like by specific groups. I hope you found this information valuable to help you grow your earnings potential with the Amazon Influencer Program.